What's up, Virgos? This is Evolving Wisdom, and yes, I am here still evolving. All right, I'm here to do your June mid reading. Okay, if you would like a personal reading from me, you guys know you can go into the description box and find all that information there. Please like, share, and subscribe. All right, um, Virgos, what do my Virgos need to know? You know what? I don't want to get that message. I want to play around here with my new cards. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what message my Virgos need to. What message do my Virgos need? All right. The King of Wands here. All right. So, hmm. The King of Wands represents me. Um, this person looks like they're like about their business. Um, as you can see, uh, there's a man here and he's like looking at a map of the world and he has his, his companion here, his cat. And he's like really focused, really, um, but you know, yeah. They're like really, really focused on what they're, what they need to be doing, what they need to get going here. Okay. So this is someone who's like <clears throat> all about their business and educating themselves and, and higher knowledge here. Now this card right here, this is the moon card, you know, of course. Okay. So we know that the moon represents your intuition, the hidden, um, sometimes darkness, you know, um, like what is it three days ago we had the dark moon which we have the new we had the new moon yesterday but I consider that still being the dark moon because it's not visible in the sky sky at that time or at least where I'm at okay um okay so this card right here and I always get this card and it's I meditate on this card a lot um I didn't tell you guys that I'm just now I'm learning these cards I've been working with them for a while I don't read them the tr traditional way I don't go by the book and what they tell me what these cards mean I just go about the pictures and I resonate the message to you all okay so you see this little cat here okay this this cat is this black cat um which is um darkness which is intuitiveness which is wisdom okay it's looking in this little water this little pond of water here and it's in a reflection of themselves as being a bigger cat than what they are okay so it's almost like they don't notice they don't realize how strong and powerful they are and they they have a choice here you see the path here they have a choice to go on a path or a journey, but they're not, they're like almost afraid because they don't realize who they really are, okay? And this witch here, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about why is this witch here going over the moon here? Because I don't know, is she is she going the right way? Is she Does she know where she's going? Is she believing in herself? Is that the path that you need to be taking because right now you you're looking at yourself in the in the in the mirror or in the water and you're realizing like whoa I'm bigger than and I'm stronger and more powerful than what I thought I was okay so it's almost like a hidden um subconscious thing that you have about yourself okay let's get one more card here okay what do my Virgos need to know oh Virgos look at this this is the ten of cups let's look, look at the picture here you got everything you want here. You got your baby. You got your boo here. You got your food. You got the the, the young man over here, which is most likely your child or someone um, that you're close to that's watching the child. All this great food. And then you have the, the water in the back. Just abundance flowing in. Love. Happiness. Okay? True happiness coming in here. All right, Virgos. That was my little introduction of my new cards <laughs> all right you guys let's get to my big boys here let's find out what's really going on okay what message do you have for my virgos here what message do you have for my virgos here what message do you have for my virgos what message do you have for my virgos here do you have for my Virgos? What 
message to you. I have my Virgos. Okay. What message to you have my Virgos here? Hmm. Hmm, Virgos. All right, Virgos. So someone is going through a big transformation here out of a relationship, okay? There were some burdens, some sorrows, some departure from this relationship, okay? This was a, a marriage or a long-term relationship, but there is some burdens. There is some, some things that you don't know that's about to happen to you or has happened to you that was just disappointment, disapproval, just, just a lot of just, I, I feel arguments. And um, I'm even getting the feeling of domesticness, like domestic violence, okay? So there's some, some, some endings coming here. There's some endings coming here, okay? There is a queen of heart energy that is around you all Virgos right now. Some loving energy. This person is coming towards you. This queen of hearts energy is coming towards you now, okay? <clears throat> okay, but there's some interference here. There is some interference with this queen of cups here. This is someone who is like, they like to run their mouth a lot. They're deceitful. They're underhanding. Like, uh, they, they don't mean well. They don't mean you any good. They're kind of like very sneaky um, type of individual, okay? This person... Okay. This person is going to cause some interference, yeah. This person is going to cause some interference. This woman here. Okay. Okay, let's, let's get some more information. You guys got a lot of shit going on right now. Virgos. So I wasn't going to do you guys reading, but I kept hearing Virgo, Virgo in my ear. And I'm like, God damn. Okay, I'm going to do Virgos. All right. But she, okay. Okay. So someone is dealing, this is, I'm talking to it, it can resonate with the female, it can resonate with the male. If it resonates with you, just let it fly, okay? But I am dealing, I'm, someone is dealing with a female energy that is, they're causing some interference here. There, there is a, a hmm. It's a new energy. Is this a new partner coming in here? This is a new energy here. This is someone new coming in towards you all. Okay? This is someone new coming in. This is a... This seems like there's two women here. And these women are like... They're very negative. And this is someone... Maybe they're cheating on you. Hmm... I can't pick up this energy. But there is someone coming in. There's a new relationship that's coming in towards you. But the spirits don't agree with this person. You guys need to hold off. Okay? You guys have something. <clears throat> you guys have true love coming in here. This queen of hearts. This is a female energy that is around you. That I don't know if they're um, maybe a friend of yours or someone. But they're really, they really care about you. Okay? This is somebody. But then, okay. But there is someone that is. Coming into your life, a new relationship that the spirits don't agree with, okay? This person is going to cause some type of burdens um, on you, okay? But you have happiness here. You have, like, everything. That's what the card I pulled out in the beginning. Uh, let me click off of here. I put the card out in the beginning, the blue card, and um, that's what this Ten of Hearts is about here. It's about true happiness. But let's get let's get some more information here because I'm nosy now. I want to know what else is going on here. It's just, it's a lot of women showing up in your readings. Okay. What do my Virgos need to know? What do my Virgos need to know here? What do my Virgos need to know? What do my Virgos need to know? Yes. Okay. You got something beautiful coming in, you guys. You guys got your money coming in. You guys are y'all y'all taking care of your business when it comes to your money. Somebody's out here, they on their shit, okay? You on your shit and you taking you're coming, you're bringing in happiness here, but you have this this queen of cubs around you. Yeah, you just got a lot of fucking people that you're dealing with. You have somebody that's coming in in a relationship, a new relationship, and you need to be careful of that relationship. This is somebody who's there with you now, and it's a new relationship or whatever, or someone who's coming in here in the mid middle of June here that you need to be careful of, um, Virgos, okay? 
you got a lot of energy that's coming around um you need to be careful someone needs to be watchful of this jack of um diamonds here this is someone who has a young type of spirit but they also hold um authority like they're about their money um and they're gonna cause some burdens on you here it's just some tra it's just a lot of disappointments here yeah you guys are coming into like a new relationship here uh, just just be watchful of this new person coming in okay you guys money is going to be okay and this can this is going for male and or female okay because i'm picking up now a woman who is dealing with the king of hearts some um, type of um, beautiful energy that is around you that's coming in who wants to get to know you okay you guys are going to start off as friends they're not going to rush rush you or anything they're going to take their time to get to know you because they're they want real they want love okay <clears throat> they're not coming in to play games and, and shit like that okay but you do have you need to be cautious here <sighs> what do you need to be cautious all of our goals you're reading this everywhere so many people that's that i don't know <clears throat> okay i'll get more information i'm trying to see if someone's cheating there's just so, too many people coming in. You need to be cautious of this individual. Look at this. This is a three of hearts, which means be cautious here. Because why? There's something coming towards you here. There's some energy coming towards you. Okay? Yeah. This is this, this king of, this is a very stubborn type of individual. Very um, conniving, um, manipulative type of individual that's coming towards you. Someone who wants to... Um, supposedly be in a relationship with you but they're they're not serious virgo okay but y'all money and everything y'all shit gonna be on point all right okay but you got somebody look some virgos y'all got somebody around y'all who like watching y'all who like love y'all who really care about you guys and I, i'm trying to pick up if you are is that the happiness that's going to come in when you finally realize who this person is because you have a um a nine of hearts here which is this is like the highest card in the deck to me which is like the ten of hearts but the nine of hearts i resonate that with more of even higher than the ten of hearts okay that's just like every, your, your true happiness coming in here yep 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 okay so there there is <clears throat> you guys got some some uh, dark female a female energy around you i don't know if this person is this they have the significant other they have someone but she ain't nobody to play with you got somebody around you um, this dark female, this um, energy who it's a, it's a marriage. It's burdens. It's like this person is cheating. They're cheating with the female, and it's female, or they, they're cheating with this male energy. And they, the person that they're cheating with, they know about you. They know about you guys. Okay, so you guys need to just be careful with that. Okay, it's just it's a lot of energy coming in saying be cautious, be careful, be cautious, be careful. It's like it's warning you guys, it's warning you guys to be careful here. Okay, no, I want to pull this one because I know there is some infidelity going on, and that's what I'm picking up very strong here. Okay, what do my Virgos need to know? There is what do my Virgos need to know? <clears throat> okay you have there is a better choice not seeing things clearly okay so you virgos know you guys you come in here to watch my video and everything to get confirmation but you know you know some bullshit going on okay there is a lot of inner people in the mix of um your relationship just around you okay you need to be cautious or whatever because y'all got a lot of shit going on. Just people all in your business. Just It's just a lot of energy around you guys, okay? There is a better choice. Not seeing things clearly. <clears throat> you have news worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations. You just got... You, you're, you're being rebirthed here, um, Virgos. You're coming into um, your true purpose and what you're supposed to be doing on your life path, okay? Whatever's going on, y'all ain't letting that shit stop you. You go, Virgos. I know that's right. Shit. It's one thing to have your relationship all fucked up, but to have your money messed up? Mm -mm. Okay. Be assertive. Don't back down for what you believe in. Stay on your fucking grounds, Virgos. Don't let no motherfucker come in and try to twist your mind up or tell you this and everything. You know what's going on. You know, Virgos. 
and I'm, I'm talking to somebody directly, you know. And stop second guessing yourself. Stop sweeping the shit up under the floor, uh, under the rug, and get and let they ass know. You know, okay? It's time for you to go. It's time for you to release because you got you got like happiness really coming in here for you guys. Manage your resources. <clears throat> I was picking up on that, you guys. You guys have some money coming in, but you guys need to be cautious of how you are spending that money. Don't get into big investments, okay? If it's an investment, a small investment that you can put towards um, financial security down the line, don't make make sure it's not something that's too big. You know, maybe 200, 300 there, but not nothing like thousands. You guys need to put your money away, okay? This is what the spirits want you to know. And manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and how you save your money. <clears throat> okay. Information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness. Okay. You guys need to, you, you, you need to listen to your intuition. You need to listen to your intuition. And I, I, I'm getting a feeling, too, you guys have someone around you, too, someone who really does care about you, who's telling you, who's telling you what's going on, who's letting you know. Yep, you right. You know, you know, they letting you know. Okay, you guys need to listen to your intuition and this person that loves you. Balance. You guys need to balance. Okay? You guys need to balance here. Take everyone's input into consideration. I just got done saying that. Somebody got someone around them who really cares about you. That is telling you like, yeah, <clears throat> you're right. You know, you know what's going on. You're right about what's um what you just said or whatever the situation is. They're, they're letting you know, like, yeah, okay. You you need to take everyone's input into consideration. Not everyone, just people you love. That people that not people that you love. People that you know love you and truly got your back. Okay. Okay. Let's get some more information here, Virgos. Let's get some more information here. Lovers. Yeah, I got y'all babies coming in here. <laughs> no, you guys, I'm serious. I, 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 I felt this for my Virgos and for my Sagittarius. Is you guys have somebody who really coming in here like that's a soulmate that is like really going to be like all over you. Like really fucking love you okay you guys deserve it but you guys gotta leave that bullshit alone right now just focus on you guys okay don't entertain all these people that's coming into your life or new relationships and everything you guys know what's going on these people are not meant to stay in your life they're they are going to either be forcefully forcefully um move removed from your life or you just gonna go through a whole bunch of fucking bullshit through this shit, okay? The true love that is long lasting, choices made from the heart, okay? Returning to good health here, the lovers, okay? Returning to good health. Let's get one more card from this deck, okay? Before I get into the cards of the gods, okay? <clears throat> Seek out intellectual solution to your problems, the need to act quickly and decisively. Okay, get on it, you guys. Seek out intellectual solutions to your problem. Ask for help. Seek, go speak to someone who you know is about their business, okay? Or this also is, I keep hearing intuition. Listen to your intuition. Because my Vir Virgos are, you guys are like the Capricorns and like the Taurus. We're about analytical thinking. We're about making sure all of our t's are crossed and our dot i i our eyes are dotted okay we don't just jump and run into anything we want to make sure that there is no room for failure especially my virgos you guys see the boy you see shit that mo other motherfuckers don't see when it comes to business okay you are very good with details okay you guys are like the top picks when it comes to hiring someone to run your business because y'all be about y'all y'all shit i tell you Kid you not, okay. In your bottom card here, it says falling, falling in love all of a sudden. Okay, I told you guys got love. Quit ent entertaining that um bullshit. And some of you are trying to separate from that, okay. But you guys, someone got some. You, someone, one of you guys have someone who knew is coming in to your life in the end of June, maybe into July. You just need to be watchful of that person, okay. 
it's a lot of energy or surrounding in that person. It's a lot of burdens in the spirits. I want you to know, and I keep saying this because it keeps coming out. You guys need to be very cautious with this person. It's going to be some fucking shit that goes down that you are not going to be easily able to get out of. Okay? And I keep getting this. And I hate to say this. I don't want to scare people, but I... I was hearing this with my Sagittarius, and I'm hearing this now again, STD, okay? This person has a lot of people, or I don't know if someone had it, they they, they got an STD from this person, or it's just telling you to be cautious because this is how out there this person is, okay? So if you do want to entertain this person, make sure you strap up, okay? They got condoms on, you can go on Amazon, you can get some for sensitive, you know, sensitive um, pleasure. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the reading here. All right, what do my Virgos need to know? What do my Virgos need to know? Unconditional love. Love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be, okay? Unconditional love, unconditional love for yourself. Love yourself enough to walk away from toxic ass energy. Bold, okay? Unleash your adventurous side. Take risk and be daring, okay? Love said, love said, come on, Virgos. Let's get on the good fit. It's time to get out here and make that money. It's time to get out here and be and get on your path and your what you see you want for yourself. It's time to make it happen. No more procrastination. You guys got stuff to do. That love, you put that shit on the back burner because you have someone that's truly going to love you and appreciate you coming in. And there, right now, you just need to focus on you and getting your mental health um, in order. Okay? What do my Virgos need to know? What message do you have for my Virgos here? Diana, the high priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. You guys got this. Stop playing. Stop playing here. You guys have strong mental power, strong physical power. You guys need to get out here and stop playing around with your future. Okay? Whatever you're trying to do, get out here. What can you lose? What, what's going to happen? All you're going to do is learn. If, you, if it goes wrong, you're going to learn from that and know how to do it right. What, what are you fearful of? Just get out here and make this change happen. It's not going to happen. Purification. It is time for a cleansing, a detox. Did I just say you guys need to mentally get yourself right? You guys need to go on a cleansing. Get your asses up in the morning. Drink out some cold pressed juice. Eat some salads. Lay off the meat. Lay off the cheese. Lay off the milk. Do it for at least seven days, you guys. Get out here and do something new. Yoga. If you don't like yoga, go jog a little bit. Walk. If you don't like jogging, walk a little bit. Go play football. Do something. Do something active. Get out here in nature. You, it's time for a cleanse. You are about to go on a new journey, Virgos. You need to cleanse and recharge yourself. You need a spiritual cleanse. You guys are all in your head. It's a lot of shit been going on with you guys. Okay? You guys need to put some spiritual protection up. That just came to me. You guys need to put some spiritual protection up. Take you guys, and I keep telling you guys, take your salt baths, okay? Take your salt baths. Take them for seven days straight, okay? Take them for seven days straight. Put a, six to seven teaspoons of it, tablespoons, in your um water and say a prayer over yourself, okay? And put some of that water over your head. You, you women, y'all ain't gonna mess y'all hair up. Just put a little bit. You don't gotta put a whole bucket just put a little, just on your crown, on your crown. Let the water run down, okay? Do that for seven days, okay? Every day, you don't have to put the, um, the, the water over your head. Just on the first day and the last day, okay? And say a prayer. Say a prayer over yourself, okay, for protection. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. What I just got to saying? Okay, you guys. Look, it's just amazing me sometimes when I'm speaking and I say things and that card comes right on out. Um, I love, love what I do. Okay, so but anyways, let's get back to this card here. You guys are spiritually protected, okay? There's no need to worry. You guys get into that. Taking your salt baths help heal. That's a detox, okay? It's not always just about just protection, which it is, but 
it will protect you but it's also about detoxing the skin the mind soaking some water and i'm talking to my males too get y'all asses in some tub in a tub y'all i know men don't like really like taking a lot of baths and everything or whatever but it's okay to just sit in some hot water or some warm water in your salt and just just sit there for a moment maybe you don't like to take the bath in there maybe you take a shower afterwards but sit y'all asses in some water sometimes okay it's all right i know a lot of my men don't like doing it i don't know why but yeah <laughs> all right virgos let's get one more card here okay independent your independence is a foundation for your strength and success it's time for you guys to get i don't know if somebody is used to someone else taking care of them financially but uh, -uh the universe ain't having that shit no more okay it's time for you to get on get it on a good foot because you're strong enough and you're powerful enough to start taking care of yourself you're strong enough to know how to get out here and make money yourself and i'm pretty sure if i'm talking to anyone specific i'm pretty sure you gave them that energy to make that money okay what i'm saying is Whatever, if you were in a relationship and that person was taking care of you or whatever, I'm sure they got a lot of ideals from you. I'm sure they got a lot of courage and um, ego to do whatever they're doing from you. I'm sure you motivated them. I'm sure, I'm sure you brought up ideals. And, and you can be doing that all for your damn self, okay? It's time to get, get out here, Virgos. It's time to get it, okay? All right, Virgos. That is your June mid reading if you would like a personal reading from me please hit me up in the description box all the information is there all right virgos this is evolving wisdom and yes i'm still here evolving <laughs>